Okay, angels, so the image we started in class, that the, when it was raining and I set it outside, the sun has since come out. So that exposure has changed. So let's go take a look at it and we can finish this up together and see actually what happened. Look, so the sun is out, it's amazing. And this has been sitting out here for, I don't know, for, for a while now. So let's see what it looks like. Let me switch my camera. Okay, okay angels, here it is, bright sun. Look at this image. Check that out. Check that out. And you can see it's not even blue anymore, that the area around it has turned gray, almost green. It's sort of an olive greenish gray. And I'm gonna take this out of the sun, back into my house. Oh, sorry for the two-handed awkward camera angle there. But if you look at it in the regular light, it's not even blue anymore. It's not even blue anymore. So I'm gonna set this guy up for us. Check this out. All right, we're gonna set this up. Here we go, I'm gonna take my paper clips off. And look what's underneath. When I remove my transparency and the image, you get this yellow and blue image. I even have detail about the leaves, the light shining through the leaves. So I'm gonna run my water. let this wash off. Now we're washing off the part of the solution that didn't get light. Oops, making a mess. So you see my print is getting bluer, the yellow is getting lighter. So I'm gonna do this real quick. It takes a few minutes. Sometimes it helps to just put the plug in and let it soak for a little bit. I'm gonna do this on the fast end of things so that we don't have to stand here forever. And you can see my image is blue. It will continue to get darker after about a day or so, but I can speed that up if I like. This should wash for about three to five minutes. I'm gonna do that after we cut through the next part um, so that you can see how the image works. So after it dries a bit, the next, it'll turn darker, but you can speed that along. That optional part I talked about, is if I take some water, this is my little basin, and I splash just regular hydrogen peroxide solution into it, see, just a squirt, and I take my image and drop it in, check it out. It gets this really rich blue. Check that out, isn't that cool? Now that will happen naturally over about a day or so, which is really great. But um, if you wanna see it quick, that's how we'll do it. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is let this soak for a minute um, so it can finish the last of it. But when it's done, I'm just gonna let it dry on the countertop. Just let it sit there, hang out and dry so that um, when it's done, it's done. If it still has some yellow, if you look at it, there's some yellow running off of it. Um, just rinse it and, and then you'll be good again. But that's what we did. Um, that's what worked in class. Let me see if I can show it to you in better light. Check that out. It's a really rich blue image with really cool shadows. All right. Have a good weekend, guys. Good luck.